Amanda De La Rosa. We've made so many memories over the past seven and a half years we've been together. Memories I couldn't imagine sharing with anyone else. There is one particular memory I think about often. It was our first year of dating, and we had just arrived home from a trip to New Orleans. I remember you cried in the car with our friends on our way back to Texas because I had not told you I loved you yet. I remember us talking in your parents' driveway that night on your grandmother's birthday. We came to a realization about each other, that our strength to persevere through life's difficulties and challenges we experience in our past prior to meeting each other made us perfect for each other's future. I remember telling you that I loved you that same night and every day I am blessed to spend with you. I'm reminded by how much I am in love with you. And with this love, I promise to always support you. I promise to grow in life with you. I promise to grow old with you. I promise to think about you whenever I pick up food. I promise to love you no matter how many dogs you think we should have. I promise to love you even when you want to pick up pumpkin pie two months before Thanksgiving. This marriage is about so much more than you and I. This marriage is also about our family and friends. Prometo amar y querer a tus padres como si fueran míos. Prometo amar a tus hermanos como si fuéramos de la misma sangre. Prometo amar a tus abuelos incondicionalmente porque me recuerden a mis abuelos. Tu familia es mi familia y los seguir Amando como me han amado a mí. Amanda, eres el amor de mi vida. Eres mi todo. You are my lobster. And I can't wait for what adventure is in store for us next. Damn. Ryan, a little over seven and a half years ago, you and I swiped right into each other's arms. Thanks, Tinder. <laughs> The first time we met, you picked me up from a wedding in your black Camaro, and I remember thinking, God, I hope he really is six feet tall. <laughs> well, let's just say I was really thankful I brought my flip-flops. Our love story is not a fairy tale or straight out of a rom-com like your favorite movie, Pretty Woman, uh, but it is real, <laughs> and most importantly, it is ours. It's only fitting that we do this right. So give me your pinky. Ryan, I pinky promise to be considerate of you every day, especially when I'm ordering DoorDash and you say you don't want anything. <laughs> I pinky promise to be your biggest supporter in all your goals, hobbies, and interests, like your love for the cowgirls. Sorry, I meant cowboys. <laughs> I pinky promise to travel the world by your side, making memories and continue the mission to find the world's best burger and fries. I pinky promise to always make you smile and laugh with my killer accents and knee slapping puns. I pinky promise to fight for our love through all the pivotal <laughs> moments life throws at us. Last but not least, I pinky promise to love you forever and always, my lobster. <laughs> what I love most about Ryan is the love he has for his cat Knox his family, and Amanda. Shortly after meeting Ryan, I met Amanda. She was giving, loyal, and a beautiful person. When she comes into a room, you can feel how genuine, welcoming, and loving she is. Over the years, I've seen how Ryan and Amanda have made each other better people. Ryan has always pushed Amanda to follow her dreams, achieve her goals, and any doubts that she's had, she, he's pretty much made her throw them out. Anytime Ryan and I hang out, he's always talking about anything he can do to relieve her stress and make life easier. Ryan is also a class clown, so anything he can do to make her smile isn't off limits. Amanda is truly a godsend to Ryan, and I could express that in a million ways. She constantly challenges him to be more open-minded, supportive, and charismatic. Without her saying it, I can always see her looking for ways to love him more, and that's really hard to come by. I want to thank both of you from the bottom of my heart for being in my life and Terrell's life. There wasn't a time that I needed you both, that you weren't there for me. I treasure and I love the game nights and everything that we've done together, the trips, the events, the long conversations we've had together. You both have opened up our lives and made us feel comfortable when we didn't know anyone here. I wish nothing but happiness and love for the both of you, and I love you both.
Amanda and Ryan, have you come here today of your own free will to declare your commitment to one another? We have. Do you promise to be there for each other in the good and the bad, to grow with, understand, and respect one another during your life together? We, we do. do. With this ring. With this ring. I, Ryan. I, Amanda. Promise to love you. Promise to cherish you. To the end of my days. To the end of my days. By the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Please seal your love with a kiss. It is with great pleasure I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Crawl. We've been here for four and a half years. Immediately I met two people who immediately treated me like family. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, you got a friend in me for the rest of my life. Even if I kick him to the curb, I will always be in your life because it matters the most to me to find genuine people. You know, and Amanda, you are the most beautiful person I ever met in the inside and the outside. And I just hope many years of love and happiness for you both. I want to say from the bottom of my heart that I appreciate you allowing us to be a part of your big day and everything. You guys are phenomenal people and I love you both. I've known Amanda since 05, um, when braces, blue eyeshadow, and thin eyebrows were trending. Uh, for those of those needing to do the math, that's 16 years of friendship. 16 years of ups and downs, travels and adventures. I could not have asked for a better best friend and an older sister. <laughs> 2014 came around and this guy wanted to hop on the crazy train. He fell for her love of bacon, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and all things nerdy. He fell for her compassion, her love for cooking, her fiery personality. Seeing them together warms my heart, and I see happiness in his eyes every time that he looks at her. It's probably because she's got food on her face. <laughs> Brian, I know I'm supposed to like give you a warning and tell you, hey, take care of my girl, but we're way past that. I consider you my brother, and I could not have asked for anyone better to take care of my sister. I can't wait to meet your children so I can teach them curse words in English and Spanish but I love you both and I wish you nothing but the best. You become an adult and this beautiful young lady comes along and she sweeps you off your feet. She stills your heart and your heart has the capacity to love everybody to infinity. And the other reason I'm happy is because you have found such a beautiful lady inside and out to be the love of your life. Amanda, since you walked into Ryan's life, you've been a big part of our family. And you have been very welcome ever since that first time Ryan brought you to our house and you gave such a wonderful, meaningful hug. As soon as that was like, Ryan, you gotta find a way to keep this girl. But I do want to congratulate Amanda, you and Ryan, I'm becoming Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Crawl today. So congratulations. Always remember, Amanda is one of God's angels in which God has entrusted you to take care of while the two of you share your time together on this living earth. Amanda and Ryan, we love you both. So of course you have grown fast and to my fault a little bit, I have treated you like a boy for a long, long time. Because I was tough on you. I've been always tough on you. But I always knew that I wanted to have a strong girl that could take care of business without daddy-o. And you many times told me, don't worry, dad, I got this. And I would just walk away because I knew you had this. Of course, you met this young man. Even though I was one of those evil dads that would protect this little girl no matter what, you couldn't have a boyfriend forever because I was that guy. But you kind of put me on my place with this guy. And you told me, hey, this guy's different, Dad. I said, well, okay, so I guess I'll let you have a boyfriend this time. I go, no, no, this, this is happening. He turned out to be a great guy. He's a good choice. I know that you are tough on your thoughts and you have been tough on Ryan. I always defend him. I will always be here for you, buddy. You and I, we're connected now, okay? I let him call me dad the other day, freaked me out. So congratulations on your present, your hard past that you guys have worked together because it takes two to build. 
and there is a lot more in the future coming in. And what these fellows have said about you guys, it has given me that sense of satisfaction that I know that a toughness and that evenness in life has worked in you. It is a pleasure to see that you are seen as you and you are an original. And Ryan, it is wonderful to have a fellow like you next to Amanda because you guys feed off each other and you guys make each other better as time goes. I can see that happening. The, the sky is the future. The future is there for you guys for the taking. Just work hard. Remember that both of you guys have to work on each other because it is always a living document. It's hard work forever. And the forever part is a hard part, but it does work, okay? So congratulations on this blessed wedding, and I wish nothing but the best for your future.